What boots are those? Uh, OZK UV boots. Let's see if I have three. I should have an army and keys. Oh. Oh. oh! Little shithead! You gotta be kidding me! I just caught this guy on fucking film while hacking. <laughs> hey YouTube, Game Friday here again. Um, as you saw from the intro video, um, I have run across what seems to be a hacker, so I am gonna go look at him. Um, I'm gonna take this opportunity to give you guys a tutorial on how to actually look up a hacker and report them. So once you are finished with your match, um, just exit the game. Like so. Voila. Alright, now I'm using um, GeForce Experience to record everything. You can use Bandicam or uh, Open Broadcast software. Um, either of those work quite well. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually open up, uh, let's see, Severium Replayer. Now you can get this at the same website as Severium Light Launcher at uh, this guy's website here and I'll leave a link in the description below so that you guys can find it but it is this website right here anyways uh, when you exit the game the last game that you played is going to show up on the bottom which is right here and uh, in order to play it you just click on the little play button and what it's going to do is going to bring you into the game into a complete replay of the match itself. It's going to take a few moments, it's going to stay at the splash screen here because the game is actually loading. Alright, so now that we're in game, uh, you have a few controls here. Pause it for a second. Okay, so uh, in order to get into these controls that you're seeing here, press F11 and it's going to bring you with, up with some controls here. You can see a list of players and uh, you got this little bar down here so you can scroll through the entire match. Uh, play and pause. Some of these buttons don't work quite yet, so we're buggy. This uh, little, these little buttons down here um, slow up and slow and uh, speed up the match respectively. But the player that I want to look at is this pro lucker guy right here. So let's see if I can get in there. Um, now, obviously, at first, uh, he's not going to show up because he's still loading into the game at this point. Uh, so I'm going to skip ahead just a little bit, and then when you click on him, take you right to his first-person view. Now, you can adjust first and third-person view by clicking on these little buttons here next to his name. Now, I just want to look at him specifically, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to watch this match, or at least specific parts, and see if I can see him hacking. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a hacker. Um, I've already scrolled ahead to where this guy kills one other person and myself through walls. So watch this. Right here. Gotta love that shit. And then I'm sitting behind that canvas wall right there. Watch this. Wall hacker. <laughs> Caught him red-handed too. What was really insulting about all of this is that he was very smug in the chat. Um, saying a lot of things, protesting that he's some superior player to the rest of us. I don't understand people like this. How they can justify paying for cheats and then somehow thinking that they're better than everyone else. You know. Uh, they get some sort of kick out of it, and it just it ruins the game for everybody. And I'm very glad that Boss Talk has given us the tools so that we can actually report people like this dipshit right here. Um, towards the end of the game, he got very careful, I could tell. And it's probably because I kept calling him out on it, and he started to maybe believe that I was going to report his dumbass. And, uh, well, I've got a whole bunch of videos saved now, so... Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this into Movie Maker, and I'll record the process of me doing it so that uh, you guys know how to splice this video together and do it relatively quickly. Alright, for those of you who don't have Windows Movie Maker, it is free. Microsoft does provide it for free. Uh, just Google it here like I did, Movie uh, Maker, and just click on Download Now, and it's going to download a, whole, um, a little app that has a whole bunch of programs with it. Uh, just ch uncheck everything except for Movie Maker, that's all you need, and install that. 
so I already have it installed. I personally use um, Vegas Pro, but uh, for the average user, this is probably your best friend. Um, so now I've got a whole bunch of footage here that I have taken of me playing, uh, of me uh, watching this guy. So let's see here. Yeah, here's some right here. I'm actually going to just drag and drop these one at a time right into here. And as you see, it has to prep the file. And then it's going to show right here. Okay, so now what you want to do is you don't want to hand off a video, a compiled video to Boss Talk that's five, six minutes long. Um, try and compress it down to something maybe a minute long if you can, um, but make it as detailed as possible. So uh, I'm got, like I said, I got a whole bunch of clips. I'm gonna cut them all down, and I'll show you kind of how to do that. So I grabbed another bit of video and I stuck it in here, and. Um, let me kind of just show you how to chop this up a little bit. It doesn't need to be pretty or anything like that. Um, obviously, you got your title up here. You can add in some captions by clicking this, and you can drag this uh, left and right if you want to notate something. If you want to make it longer, um, just text duration. You can set it in seconds if you want it 10 seconds like that. I'm not going to use any text, though, because I think the video is pretty cotton clear when it comes to this kind of stuff. Uh, let's see, animations allow you to fade in and fade out and stuff like that. Don't worry about visual effects, that just adds color gradients and stuff like that to the, the thing. Uh, I haven't messed with any of this stuff here. Uh, looks like a lot of audio mixing and stuff like that. Uh, under view, doesn't tell me much either. Under your edit tools, though, you can speed up or slow down. Um, your video, you can have audio fade in and fade out. You can adjust the actual audio volume too. Uh, use your trim tool, but honestly you can just do that by right clicking, which is a heck of a lot easier. So, um, I'm going to skip ahead here a little bit. Oops, let's see. Does that work? Oh, there goes, okay. Is that pause? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it cut in right about here. So just right click, and then split, and then you can click on this first piece and delete it. And then uh, you can scroll over here a little bit. Let's see where you get shot. Have them come over here, where I get shot. And then uh, I'm going to have it split right here. And then I'm going to delete this one. And uh, I'll have this one fade in, but first. I can uh, slice this one up a little bit more too. Oh yeah, it's this part here that I got to that was uh, pretty bad. So he spawns in. I'm going to split it right there. I'm going to delete this section here. And then if we scroll ahead a little bit, watch this. Right in the smoke, you can't even see. There's no one there. No one on the mini-map, nothing. And he just unloads on a guy. So, anyways, um, we can do a little bit of fading here. Um, just to make it look a little bit sharper, but uh, you, of course you don't have to do hack, it. Hack. So add that there. Same thing with this one. And that's a basic trimmed up video. Now of course this one's relatively short. I could make it longer if I wanted to. I'm only at 34 seconds and the maximum I will go is probably about maybe two minutes or so. Um, but that gives you plenty of time to get in as much information as possible for uh, Boss Talk. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so now that we have our video all taken care of, uh, we're going to save it. So, uh, so you go to File, then you go to Save Movie, and save it for High Definition Display. And then uh, just save it, whatever. Okay, and then you press Enter. And it's going to save your movie. Now this might take a few minutes if it's longer. This one is not going to take very long at all. Okay, and it's already done. If oh, here we go. You can. I'm just going to open the folder where it's at. Let's see. I'll save this as. as just uh, so now that we have it saved, if you open it up, you can see that it plays. You're going to hear my voice here. 
I love that shit. And then I'm sitting behind that canvas wall right there. Watch this. Wall hack. See it transitions in and out, okay? See this one. Relatively simple and to the point. Once you're happy with your video, um, then you can upload it. Personally, I have a YouTube channel. I will upload it to my YouTube channel and leave it unlisted, and then I'm going to go post it on the forums, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But uh, otherwise, you can actually just uh, you can use something like Photoshop, which is free, and then you just drag it and drop it into your into the upload and give them the uh, link that way. Um, so to actually report this person, you have to go to the uh, Cerberian forums. And uh, let's see, I believe it's under game discussion. And then right up here at the top, click on report cheaters. Now, uh, what you do, the best way to do this is um, uh, you click on post reply, and then you type in the match ID of your match. Which, if you don't know it, there's an easy way to find out, and that you go back into Sabrina and fire her. Whoops, I already have it running. Um, apparently, I still have it running. There it is. Okay. And you scroll down here, and that's your match ID right there. So, what you do is you type in your match ID. Just type in the ID, and then the player name, which was Pro. Uh, and then something else. <laughs> I can't remember what it was. And then I'm sitting behind that. Oh, there we go. Pro, Pro Lucker VP. And then you type in what he was doing. And then provide a link to the video. And then you just click on submit. Um, you can also use the in-game system, which is effective, but uh, this is more of a direct route to make sure that you get these people banned. So anytime that you run across a hacker, if he's really that bad and getting on your nerves, do us all a favor. Use this tutorial and report the bugger. And that way we can uh, get rid of these people and perhaps discourage them from continuing making new accounts and uh, continuing to mess up the game for the rest of us. That is, you know, until... Boss Talk uh, implements a new cheating anti-cheat system. Anyways, I'm King Friday. Have a good one.